Hey ladies, it's Dr. Sakisha. First of all, let me start by saying Happy International Women's Month. I know we celebrated uh, on Monday, but I want to celebrate you guys the entire month. And I am just super excited about everything that we are and that we are doing and we have been doing as women and the impact and influence that we've had on society. And, and let me just start by saying this, um, 2021, I don't know about you, but 2021 didn't start out the way I thought it was going to start out. Let me be transparent with that. Some of you may under, may know, um, about it. Some of you may not, but one of the things that I quickly realized I had one or two choices. I had to make a choice to stay in the position where I was or take a chance and get up and just dust myself up off and, and just start again you know we we sometimes we find ourselves at that crossroad where you either stay where you are or get up and try it again and you know as women we tend to be very resilient we're going to make a way so there are a couple life lessons that I learned along the way and I kind of wanted to use that to share with you guys today um the first thing I learned was just I had to learn to change my perspective and I'm sure you may be wondering you know what does this have to do with me what well, has everything to do with you as women when we're going through the process when we're wives who pray if we're women you know when we're healing when we're going through different things we learn lessons and I wanted to share them because it was really resonating in my heart so the first one was I had to learn to change my perspective things don't always go as planned and as women that's some things we had to understand but what I do know when I learned to shift my perspective when I learned how to see things differently uh, when I learned not to go into this woe is me and understand that sometimes bad things do happen to good people but that does not have any reflection on who I am as a person I felt a different level of freedom, if that makes sense. And I won't, I'm not going to sit here and be dishonest and say that I didn't get knocked down at the beginning of the year. The, the death in my family, it hit me, you know, it hit me kind of hard and I had to take some time off and regroup. But I had to make that choice. Was I going to stay in this funk? I'm like, no, I've got purpose on the inside of me. I'm resilient. You know, I've had to bounce back before. And if I've done it before, I can do it again. <laughs> so that's one of the the things that I want to share with you. Number two, I had to learn to leverage temporary setbacks to my advantage. One of the things I learned going through this pandemic was that, yes, there are different setbacks that we were going to experience. You know, for many of you, you knew for the past two, I've been a pharmacist, I've been in the healthcare industry for over 20 years. And due to health challenges over the past two years, I have not been able to return to being a pharmacist. Is that a setback? Heck yeah, that's a six-figure salary our family's been dependent on. But I had to leverage that to my advantage because I knew there was something deeper on the inside of me. I had a greater purpose, a different level I, I had to, to go into. And for some of you that are watching this video, you might be facing the very same thing. You know, you may be wondering, why did I lose this job? Why did different things happen to me? But sometimes, God, that's that set up for you know how sometimes this is you use a setback for a comeback and that could be exactly what God is using that situation to do to take you to another level to force you to step outside your comfort zone so you have to learn to leverage that that was the time that I've been praying for to really hone in on my business work on my business plan spend more time with my clients and and you know really be able to give them my all and that could be exactly the the rationale for why you may be experiencing certain things number three is listening to the voice of god in every situation sometimes we have our own plans how we want to get from point a, a to point b to point c to point d and understand we got to listen to god's voice in every situation just because we've mapped out a plan god's like okay now you show me your plan now let me show you mine us our plan is go from a, point a to point b his is go from here to here to here. And while it doesn't make sense to many of us, it's like there are certain lessons we had to learn along the way. So that's why we had to go through the different paths. And some of it is simply because of the choices we made. God's like, I'm telling you to go left, but you keep insisting on going right because everybody else is going right. So we got to make sure that we're listening to the voice of God in every situation. It may not make sense for us to be going one way when it seems or the trend is to be going another way. The trend is to be doing stuff on YouTube. The trend is to do, you know, 
on social media three, four, five times a day. The trend is Clubhouse. You know, you've got to listen to the voice of God for your specific situation because everybody's going to be different. Um, the first point that I learned was just looking for opportunities for growth. I mean, in every situation that we experience, there's always a, a lesson in it. And God wants to take us to the next level. So what is that opportunity for growth? Is it opportunity to learn to control my temper, to be more forgiving, to be more patient, to be more loving? You know, is there certain things that God's trying to shape me and mold me in? He wants me to go to a next level. But before you go to that next level, you got to mature in some situations, be it in your business dealings, you know, getting your stuff together, tightening up that business plan, getting some teaching and training to help take you to the next level. So just be mindful to look for opportunities for growth. And my last point that I wanted to share with you is just learning when it's time to pivot. Now, the pandemic, perfect example, whether you wanted to shift or not. You had to learn how to pivot to do some things online because the things that used to work for us were no longer readily available. Some of us that were counting our coins and all of those those live events that got shut down. So you had to learn to pivot to online (laughs) or, you know, you had to learn to get creative. And sometimes it forces you to step outside of your comfort zone because some of us might have felt like, oh, nobody's going to want to do this virtual stuff. Let me tell you, when People are speakers and they're accustomed to getting on stages and they're accustomed to getting these huge checks. And now everything is cut, shut down and they are virtual and they are at home. Trust me, they're willing to connect and collaborate like never before. We start getting more creative in the ways we connected with our clients. So I just want to say, you know, those were five points that I just really wanted to share with you because it's, it's um, National Women's Month, and I just wanted to celebrate each and every one of you, you know, for all of your accomplishments, everything that you're doing, how you're pouring into others. So I just wanted to take this time to celebrate you, and I hope these five tips were a blessing to you. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.